Hey guys, Indra this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time it's on custom ROM that is Havoc OS 3.3 which was just released 2 to 3 days ago that is on March 8th 2020. So basically in this video we will be doing review plus installation part and in review we will be discussing security, display from a customization part, battery, connected devices like Bluetooth, screencasting, then network and internet, then configuration settings, that is overall system wide settings, then quick setting, then camera to API, DRM info, some benchmarks, then RAM management, and finally on the installation part. So let's start with the very basic part that is uh, the information related to ROM. So basically, this particular ROM is based on Android 10 with the version Havoc OS version 3.3 with the Android security patch level of March 2020. So basically, we are in March and we, are, we have got the latest. Uh, security patch a part of this build date is of march 8 2020 then kernel version is 4.4.205 corvus la um then last one is the build number that is q q2 a dot 200 and a part of this sc linux status is enforce enforcing so in some uh things or some for some custom apps we need permissive and some in some we need enforcing so there are few apps which can change these as well so that's a separate thing so at this moment there is one good news and there is one bad news from the bad news perspective still havoc os 3.3 is not having that ota updater or i would say system update where we can update our phone via ota over the air and so on but i was writing somewhere on telegram groups related to asus and for max one some are official some have been created by their custom room developer and so on so i have read somewhere that maybe in next uh, version of havoc os maybe that would be 3.3's uh, incremental build or maybe havoc os 3.4 we will surely be able to view that system of data or ot of data so let's wait till that time we'll get that and this will surely be easing us and basically this particular room is really a good thing for a gamer so i would say this is a gamer's room or a best room for the gaming and so on so now let's discuss about few other points so zen parts so basically i like havoc os because it does provides the proprietary zen related things or i would say asu zen for related things so like zen motions and so on so in zen motion you have these things like using gesture v as you can assign any action and it will perform in the same sense and apart to this now let's discuss about this security so in security uh, our pin patron swipe password all are working absolutely fine apart to this fingerprint is also working fine fingerprint scanning let me show you the demo as well let me pin up my finger here it's working fine let me do one more time it's working fine let me do for the last time so all in all this will surely be working 95 out of 100 so they because again uh, this is uh, sometime you might have to push your finger harder on the fingerprint scanner and i have seen this particular issue issue after version 407 so before this i was on uh, like dove fest and before dove fest i was on cold os and before cold os i was on version 407 which is officially android 10 beta update so that particular uh, like pressing hard on the fingerprint scanning is persisting since that particular version Again, the same thing, face unlock is not available in this particular room and most of the custom rooms uh, uh, are like missing this particular, uh, I would say, functionality. Uh, apart of this, now let's move to the display and we'll discuss few things. So basically in this, they have provided a very minimal set of uh, customization where you have styles and well wallpaper and in this you have, like this is by default. So this is selected and it is showing me uh, these are the accent color this is a font and so on so to cut down the time i have already created a custom uh, i would say set of customization in terms of style so let me uh, select this and apply it now you will see all the changes according to this so now my accent color is being changed to this particular color my font has been changed and so on so in the same sense you have also a provision for changing the clock time so for that let me turn down the aod and i'll show you so for this I'm just going to uh, like lock my phone. So it is showing clock in this particular format. Let me change it to wording or type. So now it will show me it's 937. So in the same sense, you can also select Samsung's layout of uh, manage or uh, like I would say showing the clock. So it is working. So all in all, style 
clock again wallpaper there is only limited hand uh, like wallpaper available with this particular custom room but again it's your choice what to use so you can do uh, you can download it and you can uh, apply it on the same now let's discuss about the very vital part that is battery so again uh, like with the uh, passage of time the battery uh, idle process is really uh, resolving our problems or i would say the ideal drainage battery is very less as compared to the previous build of avoc os 3.1 3.2 and so on so within a span of 8 to 9 and i have hardly seen a bat ideal bat battery drainage of 3 to 4 percent and sometime 4 to 5 percent so it generally persists if you have left some app in the background which is which was running uh, when you have uh, kept your phone idle but again uh, you know uh, these will surely be uh, like resolved with the software optimization and uh, uh, apart from this our phones are almost now 1 to 1.5 years uh, older or i would say we are using it from last 1 to 1.5 years and some users are using more than two years now so these particular problem will surely be there because after all our uh, batteries also been destroyed uh, destroying after you this much much of usage in terms of one to two years and so on now let's discuss about the battery consumption so basically while using normal uh, i would say apps it is working absolutely fine but let me discuss with the uh, uh, perspective from the gaming's part so while gaming when i was playing a pubg so one hour of uh, gameplay has consumed nearly about 12 to 13 percent of the game when i have set my game settings as graphics as hd and frame rate as an high so again if you will be changing the setting you might uh, see the variant in terms of battery consumption and with respect to call of duty mobile uh, one hour of gameplay has consumed nearly about 14 to 15 percent of battery again the game settings were graphics as a medium frame rate as a high and so on now let's discuss about the connected devices so in connected devices uh, bluetooth is working absolutely fine i have already tried file transfer uh, audio using bluetooth devices and so on everything is working fine a part of this screen casting is also working fine uh, and it, it was working out of the box without any error or bug without any crash without any freezing and so on a part of this network and uh, internet so dual voltage is available let me show you the icons here so it is showing hd so dual voltage is available there is no problem with that call recording option is available but it is not working so i've tried a lot of time but it was not working Apart to this, I haven't faced any major problem with respect to network. Uh, everything is working smoothly, be it in terms of calling or getting SMSs or sending SMSs. So everything is working absolutely fine. Now let's discuss about the configuration center, which is again uh, the actual uh, like part or a section where you can manage your Havoc OS related system wide customization. So you have numerous options like you can. Um, customize status bar, quick setting, lock screen, ambient display, button, gesture, notification, battery, screen, animation and so on. But we will be discussing few of the because uh, the other you can try at your side. So in button, uh, we have an option like power menu. So let me uh, press it here. So I've already set like pa power off and reboot was default. So I have just set it advanced reboot. If now I'll be clicking on here, it will be providing do you want to the uh, move boot into recovery boot loader and so on so in the same sense if you will be tapping it here you can also set other things like i can also select lockdown screenshot now if i'll be pressing uh, these two new options will be added here apart to this now let's move to the gestures part so i really like that they have provided these particular gestures part so basically these are the system navigation just for the uh, videos part I'm using three button but I uh, from last few months I'm really liking the gesture navigation apart to this swipe to screenshot swipe down with three fingers to take a screenshot so it has been on so if I'll be doing this it will be uh, taking a screenshot with the three fingers <clears throat> sorry apart to this now let's move to notification part and notification I really like this particular edge lighting so whenever someone will be sending you anything be it any notification, be it any message on WhatsApp, SMS and whatsoever. So these uh, you will be seeing a lights uh, being blinked on the edges of your phone. So these are known as edge lighting. It will be available whether you have uh, turned on your AOD or not. It will throughout be available. Apart to this, let's move to the miscellaneous section. So here you will be seeing the gaming mode, which is also available in quick setting, which we will be discussing in afterward. So just turn it on and you can enjoy the uh, benefit of this gaming mode while playing games like PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty and so on. 
Now let's discuss about the quick settings. So basically there are bunch of quick settings available, but I've just selected few of them uh, which are useful and uh, daily to daily uses. But let me click on edit and you will be able to view. There are bunch of other things you can try with this whatsoever you like. But I always prefer to use which I really want to use rather than keeping it and messing up with it. So basically dark theme is working absolutely fine as you are able to view it. Let me toggle it. Now it will change to the light theme and so on. Apart to the screen recorder option is available. It is working fine. But whenever you are recording uh, or you are screen recording, the output in terms of audio will be somewhat low. Be it your voiceover or be it your internal audio. Then gaming mode which we have already discussed. It is also available just whenever you are going to play the game just turn it on otherwise you can add the apps in this particular section so that it will be turned on automatically afterward aod i have already dis uh, like uh, demo you that particular part so it is available and apart to this there are many more settings and you can play with it like gen part which we have already discussed if you will tap it here it will directly be opening that particular gen part related things and so on and apart to this there are many more settings and you can try at your end. So now let's move to the camera to API and DRM info related thing. So basically camera to API is available out of the box as you can see level 3. Apart to this DRM info, again uh, I think this is just because of version 407. It is again showing L3. So most probably whenever we will be getting a new update and ASUS will resolve this and this will surely be available throughout the other ROMs as well. So again, this is a bug. Uh, apart from this, uh, like this is a default camera app, so you can play with it. Although this is also clicking very nice photos, but as compared to the custom G cam or modded G cam, you can find more quality in when you will be installing your favorite G cam. So we will be providing you the link for the same uh, while we will be discussing a blog article so that you can go over afterward. And in the same sense, uh, it is just for root checkers. So uh, whenever you will be rooting your phone, you can check it. Uh, now let's move to the benchmarking app. This time I'm not using Enter2 because uh, Google has just pulled out the all the Enter2 app, Enter2 related apps from their Google Play Store. So I haven't got it. Although I can download it from their custom, uh, sorry, their dedicated website, but I never prefer it. So I will be just discussing Geekbench 5 related scores in this particular video. Although I even don't like to discuss these things but these are the uh, like request or i would say demand from the user side so in geekbench 5 with respect to single core score we have 322 with respect to multi core score we have 1259 apart to this from the competition part we have two different scores one using vulcan api another is using opencl with vulcan api we have a score of 147 with opencl we have a score of 435 now let's discuss about the RAM management. Let me show you how many apps have been running in the background. So camera to API, this and this. Now let's we uh, now we will be opening first PUBG Mobile and afterward we will be uh, like uh, will open Call of Duty. So it will take like I have told you that whenever you will be uh, playing or uh, like opening game or playing game, it gaming uh, or I would say gaming mode will turn on automatically. So gaming mode enabled and so on. So let me wait some for some time till the time this particular app will be loaded and we'll uh, test the RAM management. So finally, I have opened the uh, PUBG Mobile. Now let me open Call of Duty and afterward we'll uh, see the RAM management. So again, it will take some time. Let's wait till then. So finally, the Call of Duty is also been loaded. Now let's move to the recent apps and open the PUBG Mobile to see how the RAM management is working. So again, whatsoever I have noticed that from this since since I have to, uh, try, uh, like start using Android 10 based custom room, RAM management is never an issue. Now let's move to the uh, call of duty to see whether it has been restarting or where we have left it is been showing there. So again, there is no problem with that. So all in all RAM management is working absolutely fine. But again, they have their own times in with respect to each and every custom room. Some does maintain RAM uh, like apps in RAM for 10 minutes, some 15 and so on. So this usually persists and so on. So now we are almost uh, ready to go with the installation part. But before that, let me show you by tapping on a home screen. Again, we have the same minimal set of, uh, I would say, customization like style clock and wallpaper that we have discussed in the display uh, section where we have seen customization. So whenever you will be turning off the games, you will see that gaming uh, mode is also turned off and so on. 
so before we jump into the installation part i need to discuss a article so this this will surely take 20 to 30 seconds so let's wait for that so basically i have already drafted a dedicated article for the instructions on how how you can install havoc os 3.3 with the march 2020 build on your beloved handset that is asus zenfone max pro m1 so basically there are a few links for downloading the rom so there is good uh, there is one good thing that now have a course is available with G apps and without G apps, but I will always prefer without G app because I have seen few crashes with the Play Store when I was using with G apps build. But again, it's your wish. You can try both. If you are using without G apps, so we have already provided G apps and Magic's Google uh, Camera Link and so on, which I was discussing earlier. Apart to this, some prerequisite like backup your data and so on. So again, these are common things you are already aware about this, and you can go over. This will surely help you while. Uh, the installation part and so on. Now let's move to the TWRP mode and we can uh, proceed with the, I would say, installation part. So in next one to one minute, we will be directly booting to the recovery mode and we will be uh, proceeding with the installation part. And I'll try my level best to speedify this whole process. So finally, we have been booted to the recovery mode. So according to the blog instru instructions, we have to first tap on wipe. Afterward, we have to tap on format data. Here, you just have to type yes to confirm it. And afterward, just uh, click on the blue tick and it will hardly take two to three seconds and it will do its magic in the background in terms of factory resetting or formatting. Afterward, just go back again back. Now you have to tap on advanced wipe. Here, you have to select four different partition. One is Dalvik, Cache, Data and System. Vendor partition is uh, optional you can try it if you want to but there is no restriction or uh, like uh, from the uh, Rome developer that you have to do this or not so again the uh, wiping has been done again you have to move back again back again back until unless you will uh, move to the home screen of TWRP here you have to tap on install afterward you just have to select storage and according to your external uh, device like USB OTG or micro SD card, just choose that. So uh, at my side, I'm using micro SD card. I'm just selecting it and okay. Afterward, you just have to found that particular downloaded file that we have discussed in the blog. So at my side, I have kept it here. So basically, as I've told you earlier that there now there are two different, uh, I would say builds or version of the Havoc OS. One is with the G apps and another is without G apps. So first one is with the G apps and the second one is without G app. So if you will be using first one that is uh, with the official G apps, then you don't have to flash G apps if you are using. And if you are using second one, then you have to flash G apps. So at this moment, we will be using this one. That is second one where we have to flash G apps separately. Just select it and swipe to flash it and it will take some time. So let's wait till that time it completed. Finally, the installation of Havoc OS ROM is completed. Now we have uh, two options. One is reboot system and wipe, but I will always prefer to wipe cache and Elvix so that all the junk files behind this installation will be completed. Now we have to flash G apps. So again, we have to tap on back again, back until unless you move to the uh, folder where you have kept that particular uh, G apps related things and so on. So at my side, I'm using Android 10. So I've just kept it. This is a, again, latest build that was released on 7th of March. So just tap it here and again swipe to confirm again it will take two to three minutes to complete the installation so have some patience and let's wait till the time it completes so finally the g apps related uh, installation is also completed same again two option reboot system wipe again i'll prefer wipe cache and elvic so that again the junks behind this particular installation will be completed so now uh, you can also unroot your like sorry you can also root your phone or you can also flash magics whatsoever you called it but i always prefer that wait for the first time whenever you will be completing your first phone setup process afterward you can again move to the twrp mode and uh, root your phone because this is always a beneficial thing so just to speedify thing let me reboot the system and let's wait till that time we'll see the havoc os official logo and afterward we'll move to the phone setup process so finally, uh, we have been booted to the official Havoc OS progress screen or I would say logo screen, whatsoever you name it or call it. So let's wait till that time it will invoke or it will proceed with the phone setup process. So just waiting for hardly one minute, uh, the phone setup process has invoked or I would say started. So according to the same, it has detected English India. Let me proceed further start. Now it is asking mobile data preferences. So according to my same, 
I'm just selecting those part afterward it is, it is asking for the uh, entering the password and so on let me do it so finally after entering the Wi-Fi wi passwords uh, the process has proceeded further again checking for update in terms of Google Play services and nothing else so if there will be any uh, pending payload that will be downloaded here and it will proceed further so after downloading the needed update so it has just moved to the another screen so do you want to copy data again just for the video part i'm just starting as on fresh device so again checking few things now it will be asking for uh, me to enter my previous pin if i'll be entering a legit pin then it will proceed me further so in this case if you are not sure about your pin pattern so you should be aware about your last google uh, account which was signed into your device so that you can enter it and uh, proceed further so at this moment i'm just going to skip the google account related thing to speedify the installation part so in this as well i'll be just entering pin or i'll be selecting pin because we have already discussed fingerprint scanning while in the video and it is working absolutely fine so now it is just doing the final touches or so on so let me show you the bare bone structure or default structure when I'll, whenever you will be installing it with uh, rom and uh, custom gfs installation so again just let me let me verify you so android 10 have a quest 3.3 with march security patch and so on so all in all uh, this was all from our side in terms of uh, have a OS 3.3 review and installation part hope you like this video if you really like this video kindly share this with your friends and family and apart from this please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in the coming future finally it's the time to sign off now bye for now thanks